Hello, we're at Holy Comforter Church in Burlington, and I'm with the Reverend Wayne Hoagland, who is the rector of St. Luke's Church in Salisbury. And St. Luke's recently did something rather significant on a day of some real significance. It was Election Day. And instead of just going to the polls, they decided to pray before going to the polls. Wayne, what happened? Right. Actually, uh, there was a, the group of the Episcopal churches in Salisbury got together and decided that uh, the election season had been such a, uh, a time of distress and turmoil. and People were uh, angry at each other that we needed to rise above that by holding a Eucharist that would uh, try to bring people together to, to unite one another in our common baptism through our Holy Eucharist, bring everybody to the table to say that uh, as Episcopalians and anybody else who wanted to participate in the service in Salisbury, Rowan County, and Davie County could come together and put politics aside and uh, celebrate our, our life together in Christ. That's that what brings us together. We're not going to let our politics and our ideology separate. Now, who were the churches that came together? So all the churches in, in Rowan County, which are St. Luke's, uh -huh. St. Paul's, uh, St. Matthew, San Mateo, Christ Church in Cleveland, and in Davie County, uh, S Good Shepherd Cooley. Good Shepherd Cooley, yeah. Right. And uh, so that's where we all came together. And all the clergy. And there was some ecumenical participation. There were. There were some folk from the community who were not Episcopalians who came uh -huh. as well. We had about 40 or so. And it was a nice event. And we what time did you do it? Actually, we did it when the polls closed. Uh, seven thirty. So it was a late evening. Yeah. And uh, but it was a nice service. I think people felt uh, a need to uh, put their differences aside mm -hmm. and come together. Our little tagline was "Bring someone who uh, voted opposite of you," yeah. so that we could all uh, uh, put the table, the, the Eucharist at center, and not our. This is a marvelous way of living our faith in the world that is here. That's exactly right. And so, to use the liturgies that we already have, right. make them available, and, 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 and uh, show people how we really feel as Episcopalians. Well, it reminds me of the prophecy of Isaiah that says, um, I think it's in uh, chapter 11, where um, it says, When the day of the Messiah comes, the wolf shall lie down with the lamb. There you go. Indeed, the donkey and the elephant might actually lie down together. Amen. That's a sign of the coming of the <laughs> kingdom. That's right. From Holy Comforter Church in Burlington with the Reverend Wayne Hoagland, rector of St. Luke's Church in Salisbury. God bless you and keep you.